Hello, Case Runner Web Kaiju here, and this came in today. It is SRS Cinema's release of South Korea's 1984 movie War of the God Monsters, also known as The Flying Monster. Came with this nice poster, this How From Beyond the Fog card. It actually came with two posters, so very cool. The art also looks good on the cover. Alright, so we have a reversible sleeve and it looks like the disc art is the art from the um, default cover, just in a different color tone. But nevertheless, looks good. First off, I should note that up until this release, the movie was considered partially lost media and that the monster scenes are apparently used with permission from Subaraya's Fireman, as well as some of the Ultraman series. A scientist believes dinosaurs will rise again, but his peers don't believe him, and he kind of goes into hiding while still going out and finding evidence to support his theory, which ultimately is proved to be correct when a multitude of giant creatures appear and start attacking cities. On location shots are pretty. This guy has cool flamethrower breath. Video is surprisingly very clear for what was considered to be a lost film until very recently. Sadly, audio at times has pretty heavy background noise. Wish that would have been cleaned up a bit. There's a few parts that the brightness skips to a different exposure drastically. Stock footage, especially of the melting ice caps, look quite different quality wise, but I'd say the overall quality of the movie was a lot better than I was expecting. There's plenty of decent pans, zoom, scene compositions, and the music is serviceable. There's a lot of monsters, I want to say eight, but they're not given much time. They're just dinosaurs in the narrative, I guess. Not even given names in the movie, but too many monsters is never really a problem. Just look at how much love Varon got from his cameo in Destroy All Monsters. Pestar really steals the show for me. He also has flamethrower breath, but just the design is so imaginative and translates well into film. Also really like the serpent guy, well, I guess it's two different serpents. Serpent versus serpent fight though, even if super brief. Models are okay, nothing great, and the cars on the street do look extra matchbox-like. I enjoy seeing civilians during city destruction scenes, but at times War of the God Monsters cuts to them too often. Sometime accompanied by debris being very effortlessly thrown into the shot, which completely ruins the danger effect it was trying to convey. Some shots like this work very well though. These feet props look bad. The story is a bit typical. The characters are fine, but neither really make the movie too interesting. My biggest problem with the movie is the resolution. Like, I guess the human conflict is taken care of okay, but I feel like a lot of monsters are still out there. And the only mention of it is the disaster is over for now. Why though? How? The movie is overwhelmingly okay. The scenes borrowed from other media range from pretty cool to why was the clip even included. Story and characters would be extremely forgettable if not for being so common ground. Troubled scientist, young girl who befriends adult lady and then wants to hook dad up with. They do get the borrowed clips into the movie well enough so I guess they did their part. At the very least, I'm very glad this film got preserved and is not, in fact, lost to time glad that I watched and own it, and if you've already seen many of the more popular kaiju films, then it won't hurt to check this out. Just don't go expecting too much. Thanks for watching.